All right, I just want to do a quick uh, video review of this Mariners jersey that I got. Um, just came in maybe like an hour ago. Um, so, <clears throat> if you look at my channel, I usually get, I usually like do reviews or me personally, I just kind of wear either NBA or, or uh, soccer jerseys. Um, baseball, I haven't had a baseball jersey in probably since like sixth grade. And I'm like 35 right now. So, um, anyway, uh, what was it like last week? I think last week I was, um, I was on Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for jerseys, you know, to buy, resell, keep, or whatnot. And I, somebody had locally here where I'm at, I'm in Buffalo, somebody had um, Atlanta Braves jerseys. They had two of them for 50 bucks, which they're right here. I John Smoltz and Chipper Jones. These are the Russell Athletic ones. Uh, vintage, really nice. Anyway, so message the lady. I got them for 40 bucks each. I mean, 40 bucks all together, so $20 each. We got a great deal. So I was like, you know what, you know, let me get um, kind of, I was like, let me get some um, jerseys, um, let me get some baseball jerseys for me for the summer. I always kind of dig this uh, Mariners one, always one and one. So I usually kind of try to get um, either use, you know, see what's on the uh, eBay and uh, Mercari and stuff. But lately I'm kind of getting fed up with people, you know, messaging people, sending, sending offers and not even getting a response back. It's just like if you, you know, if you're going to sell stuff on there, um, at least be able to respond back within a couple hours, not take you weeks to respond back. Anyway, um, Sunday I went to Fanatics, I bought a um, Braves um, World Series hat. Um, I think it was Sunday, yeah, Sunday for uh, Easter. I bought it, um, and then Monday I woke up, still looking for the Mariners jersey online. I got an email from Fanatics, well, MLB shop is where I got the jersey from. But um, I think uh, it's all part of Fanatics now, uh, since they all kind of joined together. So he says, oh, you got a 25% coupon. I'm like, sure. But you know, when you get those coupons, uh, usually you can use them on like the New Jersey and stuff. It's like exclusions apply. Oh my like, God, right, whatever. Well, anyway, I go on there. I look at the jersey and it actually lets me apply it. It was 114. With the coupon, it was 86. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna buy this. But then I'm like, you know, should I do it? Because, you know, I'm probably not only gonna wear it like four or five times. And I usually don't like to spend money on something that I'm not gonna be able to resell later on. And I'm gonna lose money on it. But I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna buy it because I really liked it. <clears throat> so I bought it Monday afternoon. Eight, like I said, 86 plus four dollars to ship. Uh, plus taxes came out to like 97, 98. And then uh, I got a five dollar off from uh, PayPal for using PayPal um, because I had this thing in a cart for like a couple hours, so they sent me the five dollar thing make, to make sure I I, um, I check out, which I did anyway. So I got the jersey. Then later on, I got an email saying that somehow they upgraded me to a two day shipping, which was kind of nice. So I got this Monday afternoon. Today's Wednesday. I already got it, so I'm pretty happy. Two day shipping. So let's talk about the jersey. Um, so in, in person, uh, this looks a little bit darker than what it looks like on the video. I'm not sure what it's going to look like once I upload it to YouTube, but it definitely looks a little bit darker in person. Um, also, the reason uh, I didn't want to buy a used one is uh, most of these had names on the back. So it was either Robinson Cano, um, one of the biggest juicers ever. So I really I was gonna get him, but maybe take off the name in the back. But then I'm like, is it gonna leave you know glue residue and all that stuff? So I'm like, fuck that. Ken Griffey, um, great player, but like I said, I don't really like to wear players. That's why I'm not gonna keep these. I'm gonna sell both of these, just because um, I don't like having uh, names in the back. Um, so yeah, and there was like a lot of fakes, a lot of those Chinese ones that look so bad. So that's why I ended up actually paying uh, retail for this. But yeah, let's talk about the jerseys. So, you know, you got the buttons. The Nike swoosh is just screen printed. It's not, um, it's not stitched. Um, like even, I have a soccer jersey here somewhere. And, uh, so here's like a Luka Doncic that's screen printed. The soccer ones are like, they're not screen printed. They're like actually, see? So yeah, Nike's making this cheaper and cheaper every time. Um, but yeah, here's the uh, size tag. 
um, Nike jock tag at the bottom, extra large. Uh, that's about it, and this is fake stitching, it's not even real. Um, looks real from the outside, but on the inside, I don't, there's no, see, you can just, there's nothing in there. Uh, I like, okay, compare this. Look at this Braves one that I have. So this was a Russell Athletic one. Check out the stitching on this one. See that? And on the inside. See the difference? It's crazy. See that? Oh, times are changing. Prices are not. So yeah, this this was like I said, uh, 114. If you get the name on the back, it's I think it's like 135. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm getting back into baseball, getting some uh, baseball gear. I got a, a Mariners hat coming tomorrow. Uh, to match this is the navy blue and um, this aqua color hat. And I got a Braves championship hat coming through. Um, oh yeah, so, so I ordered it on Easter, which was Sunday. I paid same price shipping as this one, it was $4.99. And it says it won't be delivered till May 2nd, which is like three weeks, which is like what, like two and a half weeks, which seems like ridiculous. But anyway, we'll see, maybe the update is shipping. Uh, but last time I checked, it says May 2nd, which seems like really, um, really far away. So let's see the back. So you got the uh, MLB logo in the back. It's pretty much it, nothing else. Oh yeah, check this out. <clears throat> Came in a bag. It's, it's fine, I guess. It doesn't even say Nike on there, but it usually says Nike on the. Um, like when you get the soccer jersey, it says Nike, but here's Fanatics. So it says Men's Nike replica. But yeah, so the tags they come. You know how they usually these are like hanging on the inside? Well, you know, see how the there's no. They're like a plastic piece that holds these together? That's missing. And that wasn't on the jersey, just fell out of the bag. So that's kind of weird how that it wasn't on there, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. Um, I haven't tried it on yet. So yeah, I think it's supposed to be hanging off of this thing. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer.